Hi and welcome to Extras Lesson 6. In this session we'll be learning 10 cool chord progressions. In a similar way to riffs when you find a bunch of chords that sound great together, there's something that makes you want to play them over and over again. And that's what we're trying to do because it's the power of repetition. While we're enjoying playing the progression, we're also improving our finger strength, our fine motor skills and our agility around the fretboard. Let's check some out now. E quartet. This is what it sounds like. Just four chords. Let me come back down again. So E quartet was one of the first chord progressions I ever learnt. And uh, the lovely thing about it is the fingers just keep on uh, the same strings. They don't move at all. They're just uh, rolling up on the train tracks, keeping nice and smooth. Anything that's different is the spacing. So let's uh, start right at the beginning. This is just the E chord. You probably work that out by now. So the middle finger is on the fifth string, fret two. Ring finger, the fourth string, fret two. The index finger tucks in on the third string, fret one. And so we're just going to play. That's the first chord. The second chord, basically the middle and the ring just slide up two frets and the index just slides up one fret. Okay. So we've moved from the first chord, uh, the middle and the ring just slide up two frets, same strings, and the index just slides up one fret. So the index is in fret two, and the middle and ring are in fret four. The lovely thing about this chord progression is that you do have open strings, first string, second string, and the sixth string are all open strings, not touching any of them with any fingers. Now the third chord just slides up, the whole chord slides up, all the fingers slide up two frets. final chord, the middle and ring finger, just slide up one fret and the index slides up two. So you've got that sort of E shape. So the fourth chord is the E shape, but it's obviously five frets up. So we'll start again from the beginning. A stretch here, middle and ring, stretching two frets, index just one. And then everything slides up two frets. And then we go back to the uh, E shape, middle and ring, just slide up one, and the index slides up two. Do that again and we're going to go nice and slowly just between the first and second chord position. Let's do that. Two, three, four. And we're just going to strum it four times. Then we're going to move and let's go back to E. towards um, changing, like all the rest of the other chord positions that we want to change uh, in time between one chord and the other. So you may have to go over this 
a few hundred times. That's where we're heading, keeping a nice low rhythm. And you know what, even if you have to, slow it right down. Three, four, and move. So you're slowing it down to give you time to move, to carry on. It doesn't matter that it's a really slow pace. Because what you're telling yourself is, your fingers to change in time. One more time. Two, three, four, and move. Two, three, four. Okay. Let's move now between the second position and the third. So basically, we're keeping our hand in exactly the same position but we're just sliding up two frets. Let's try that. Two, three, four. Two, three. Get ready to move. And back. Let's move from the third position to the fourth. Are you ready? And this time we're just going to revert back to the E shape, but obviously five frets up. So we're going from uh, index on the fourth fret, fret four, third string, middle and ring, the um, sixth fret, fourth and fifth string. Slide up the middle and ring, just slide up one fret, index slides up two. Okay, let's try that together. Two, three, four. find it easier to use different fingers. Index, uh, ring a little, but um, the difficulty with using different fingers halfway through is that you're having to change, whereas if you use these fingers, you're just going to have to stretch. But if you do find that stretching a bit too much, then just yourself to what's uh, what's more comfortable the reason that uh, I love this so much because they sounded the chord sounded really nice um, and the great thing about riffs is that if you find chords that sound nice it gives you motivation inspiration to play over and over the great thing about riffs is you can that's what the design that sound good you play them over and over because you love the sound of them, but in doing that, you are uh, strengthening your fingers and just by repetition getting better and better, and that's the point. So let's go through it uh, right from the beginning, uh, from the first position to the fourth. Here we go, two, three, four. Three, four. 
don't worry if uh, in the course of playing these that you're getting your fingers not round enough and it's you're getting an awful lot of uh, buzzing or muffling that's just to be expected but just try and keep that thumb right down here and you're basically trying to create that breathing space here bringing your fingers right over as much as you can so they're not touching any of these strings let's do that one more time two three four thing about this uh, chord sequence is, is you can go back again so we can just reverse it let's do that let's go up and back Nice and smooth. Two, three, four. So when you've played it a few hundred times and you're getting confident with the chord changes, you can uh, use some uh, strumming patterns, which would be quite nice, um, but uh, let's do it really slowly. It's going to sound a little bit like this. I'm going to use the one, two, and three, and four, and here we go, two, three, four. <laughs> 